I'm on question two, and this question deals with uh, King Shaka International Airport and then the airport at the bay at Port Elizabeth. Let's have a look. It, deals, uh, it says the number of aircraft landing at King Shaka International and Port Elizabeth Airport for the period, okay, now the period is April 2017 and ending in March 2018, is shown in the double bar graph below. Now remember, in a double bar graph, you need to look for the legend. Here, this will tell you King Shaka is the very dark um, bar, and then also that Port Elizabeth will be the grey bar over here. Okay, now let's see what the first question is that they're going to ask us. I just want to get my pen ready, and here we go. The first question says, the number of aircraft landing at Port Elizabeth Airport exceeds the number of aircraft landing at King Shaka. So let's remember this. PE, the number that landed, is more than the ones that landed at KSI. During some months of the given period, during which month is this difference the greatest? Now let's go back. Well, here we can see the gray is higher, so that one qualifies, that one does, this one's a bit lower, There's, it's higher, now it's lower, 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 higher and higher. They're asking for the highest one, so definitely it happens in July. Okay, so remember that was July 2017. So that because they've given us the the years as well. So this will be at July 2017 for one mark. So that's quite easy mark, quick the question is answered, no problem. The next one should go quick as well. It's for two marks. The number of aircraft landing at King Shaka Airport is given in this table. So there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 data items, and they want us to calculate the mean for this data. So folks, I hope you have your calculator with you so that I can show you because the mean is usually followed by the standard deviation. So it all comes on the same menu. So take your calculator and let's talk you through it. Okay, you go for mode, and then you do two again to get to stat, the statistics, and then you click one. The one has a one, a dash, and a VAR. So it deals with variance. Immediately it takes you to the table. Okay, you fill the data that is on the screen into this data here, into your calculator. Okay, so all this data, one by one, goes into your calculator. Then, you press all clear again. Once the data is in, we go all clear. We go shift one to go back to stats. And this time, we choose option four on the menu that says variance. Okay, then you'll see there's a little symbol there. And the symbol looks like this. It's an X with a little line at the top. Okay, now that means the mean for this data. When you press onto that, the calculator quickly calculates the mean. Let's just remind ourselves what it does. It takes the sum of all the data items. Now, in our case, there's 12. And it divides it by the number of data items. Okay? And I, in this case, in our case, is 12. The, calcu the computer, <laughs> computer, the calculator does it for you. And you, 2, 2, 4, 5, comma, 0, 8 is what you come out with. Okay, and that's for two marks. Quite nice. Okay, all of this has been done on the calculator. 
then you go back because here it is. They are now asking you to find the standard deviation and that is for another two marks that you've got. Okay, so we go out of this, all clear. We go shift one to get back into our stat and then we go for option four that has the variance. Now folks, you are going to choose the symbol that looks like this. Okay, that is your standard deviation symbol. Now once you've calculated that, you should get, once you've pressed that, you should get 86,3. Okay, and that again, correct to one decimal figure. Okay, so now we have what? We've got the mean, we have the standard deviation, so we can now talk about the spread in the data or variance, all these things, because we've got those two measures. Let's see what the question is that they ask us next. Determine the number of months in which the number of aircraft landing at King Shaka were within one standard deviation from the mean. The number of months, folks. Okay, that's one standard deviation away from the mean. So we're looking for the following. Well, there's the mean. To the left of the mean, we want that calculation. And then to the right of the mean, we add our standard deviation. Okay, now that's again, it's all calculator work. All of these things you've written down. So all you do now is take the mean value you wrote down, subtract the standard deviation, take it and add it again. So if you do that, you get to an interval of 2158,78 for x and for the y value, 2, 3, uh, not for the y value, <laughs> for the standard, the one standard deviation away from the mean to the right will take you to this interval. So this is one standard deviation to the left, yeah, and this is one standard deviation to the right. Now remember, we now got to go back to our graph and count how many of these lie between 2158 and 2331. We're interested in 2158 and 2331. So where's my table? I'm actually looking for my table. I'm not looking for my graph, sorry. Here we go. So two, one, this one definitely fits the bill. Two, three, three, one is the other end. So let's write down here. We want two, one, five, eight as a lower limit, comma, seven, and as a higher limit, two, three, three, one, comma, three, eight. Okay, two, three, that one fits. This one fits. Two, three, three, four does not fit. It's three too high. Two, three, four, six does not fit because we need a three and a one here. The two, one, seven, five fits. This fits here. That one fits. That one does. That one does. This one does not. And two, two, five, four doesn't, excuse me, indeed fit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What did the question ask us? It said, how many was it? How we are which number of aircraft? So of the 12, there's three that doesn't. So only nine of them land within one standard deviation. So only nine aircraft always finish off your problem. Only nine aircraft land within one standard deviation from the mean. Okay, we've answered that one. Now our last question here says, which one of the following is a statement that is correct? So we've given three statements, we must choose the correct one. During December and January, there were more landings at PE 
than at King Sharka. I don't think so. During December and January, more in PE than in King Sharka now. More, less, less, that little bit more there would not make a big difference. Even if we go from November to January, it's definitely just not the case. Okay, so the first one is not true. Let's go back down to our question. So not true. There was a greater variation in the number of aircraft landing at King Sharka Airport than those that landed at PE. Now folks, a greater variation, it's definitely not true. If you look at the number of aeroplanes that landed at Port Elizabeth and you look at those that landed at King Sharka, there were always far more at Port Elizabeth. The biggest, if you look at this, the biggest gap here is this one. And there's only one of those. Look at how big this gap is. All these other ones will then add up to, um, to, to show exactly the opposite of what they're claiming. They're claiming there was a greater variation in the number of aircraft that lands at King Sharka than those that land at PE. Only one of the PE was uh, as huge, uh, huge as it was. So yeah, no, I don't agree with that statement. The standard deviation of the number of landings in PE will be higher than the standard deviation of the number of landings in King Sharka Airport, and that is definitely the one that we are looking for. Because we, we only have, by the way, we only have the data on King Sharka, okay? But you can see there's more variance. There was more variance in PE, or less variance, rather, in PE than what there was in King Sharka. Okay, so that standard deviation was then different. Okay, I hope that helps you to understand how the mean and the standard deviation gives you information about a situation.